Welcome to the first devlog for my game Destiny Break, more specifically the prologue for the first devlog. In this video I want to give you a rundown of why I started my game and how it got to where it is. Destiny Break is an action RPG I've been developing in my spare time since mid-2019. It blends fast-paced action combat with a retro aesthetic, while still making use of modern graphics techniques and game mechanics. Most of the current indie JRPG scene is, well, pretty RPG maker for most people's tastes, so I figured it'd be a great genre to try to stand out and set a new standard of indie JRPG. In this intro video, I want to give you a deep dive into what inspired me to create the project and how it got to where it is now. First, a little about me. I've been a professional game developer for 8 years now, but I've been a hobbyist for much longer than that. I got into game development when I was a teenager in the year 1928, with a very old version of RPG Maker. I loved any and all RPGs, probably because I grew up with some really great ones at the time. After some time, I found the tool limiting and started learning C++ on my own, eventually pursuing programming in school and landing a job in the gaming industry. Better tools would eventually release and my passion for developing my own games returned, with me making unfinished prototype after unfinished prototype. And although they never went anywhere, I always tried to design games that I myself would enjoy playing. Except... this. I... yeah. Fast forward to the year 1980-2019, where Corona was only something us Canadians drink during our one month summer. Which started out great, except for the oncoming car that crashed into mine. <laughs> Left with a myriad of injuries and surgeries, among which was a severe break to my right hand, which would have me join the Weapon X program for six months. Temporarily out of right hand, I went all Jamie Lannister on game development and switched my mouse to be left-handed. I would spend the next few months practicing pixel art with my offhand outside of my new full-time job, which was physical rehabilitation and Netflix. I had a few game ideas in this time, but I didn't want to make another unfinished prototype. Having been on death's door, I wanted to release something I could leave my name on. In a tribute of sorts to my younger self, I decided to cycle back to my roots in the JRPG genre with all my new skills and tools at my disposal. In design I like to look at what mechanics and games might have had more potential if utilized differently, as well as using something good as a base and building or improving on it. I settled on Star Ocean 2 for the PlayStation 1 as my base, beneath its cheesy but lovable voice acting Air slap! Unexpectedly weak. is an incredibly unique and fun combat system which layers 2D sprites onto 3D worlds. Because it was made for the original PlayStation, it was a bit limited on what it could use in terms of its environments. I set out to make a quick prototype of its combat system, iterating on it as I slowly found my own style and got better at animating. I chose to use Unity as most of my previous work had been done in that engine, and since I'm mixing 2D with 3D it seemed like the obvious choice. I eventually started experimenting with different environments and biomes. I built a little town, more characters, and started to pivot from my original reference battle system, adding a player controlled dash to dodge attacks for instance. I started off by again using Star Ocean as a base, having futuristic earthlings marooned on an underdeveloped planet. The original story I came up with followed two spacers from our future, Tyus, an adventurous comical Star Lord type and Jasper, a grounded, sophisticated android that would mirror Tyus's personality. While investigating an anomaly on a dead planet, the two would find an artifact which would turn out to be the last lifeline of a dead race. It would pull them back to the planet's past with an opportunity to save it from destruction, while also getting caught up in the political war that caused it. I decided on the name Destiny Break, because I wanted something similar in sound and feel to Chrono Trigger, while also trying to capture the idea that you can change events previously set in stone. Although I ended up personally liking that story, I thought some people might get turned off from the time travel aspect. In addition, the marooning of futuristic characters on a primitive planet seemed a little too close to my reference, so I decided I should pivot away from that story. 
so I kicked the sci-fi element to the curb and opted for a fantasy story in a similar vein. Seeing Tyus, and now Gabriel, previously Jasper, being two treasure hunters on a boat to a new continent with a lead on an ancient artifact. It still ties in the knowledge of a desolate future for said planet, which allowed me to keep using the name Destiny Break. I'm not going to drop a full synopsis, as I'd rather the player experiences the story for themselves. So that's my game's origin story. Pretty boring, but I wanted to give people a glimpse into my early design process. In the next video, I'll go into more detail about the evolution of the characters, combat system, and how I made most of the environments. Until then, cheers.